What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Ancient Abyss. This game is not even out yet, so I don't really know a whole lot about it. The developers sent it over this morning, and it's got kind of a hyperlight drifter meets moonlighter thing going on as far as the graphics are concerned. And so it's very, very purdy. Look, I can swing a sword. Look at it, I've got like a laser sword right there. Nice. This guy's like flicking a blade over here. The game had a cold open, so unfortunately I was going to bring you in on the title screen and be like, you know, we're going to check this game on out, let's dive right on it. But the game has a cold open, so I pretty much started like right here. After some brief conversation, it has been revealed that I was unconscious, and now I'm no longer unconscious. Instead, I am now conscious. I know, it's amazing how that works, right? It's amazing. Well, so I guess we'll just head on out and take a look around, see if this game is the hack and slash roguelite of your dreams. Feel free to take weapons on the rack, pieces will blast out when the stone pillar is crushed, it can stun enemies nearby. Okay, thank you for that piece of unsolicited information. I appreciate it. Alright, so we're inside of some kind of foresty thing. It looks like I can roll with space. There's some grass over here. We can chop it and do some light gardening. I respect it. Let's do some gardening, dude. I'm about this gardening life. Can I destroy these totems? Oh, yeah. It looks like the environment is, like, fully destructible. That's pretty sweet. I like that. Okay. Well, let's head up north, get through some of these bushes. Oh, we can check this right here. What is it? Oh, there's a big hammer. What does the big hammer do? Oh, it breaks rocks? Yes, dude. Okay, I have the big hand. Oh, it stuns the guys if they are near the big rocks. And apparently there's little enemies over here. We'll go ahead and wipe them out real fast. Does the campfire do anything? It looks like I can chop the fire. I like that interactivity. Uh, what is that right there? Is there anything on the Is that a money tree right there? I thought there was a money tree over there. It's not a money tree. It looks like it's a tent underneath a tree that's got money haphazardly strewn beside it. All right, well, we'll go off this way. Ooh, I like the music. It's got a little bit of, like, a Firefly vibe going on. Music kind of reminds me of Bastion. It's got, like, that little bit of the old Western flair. The kid went in and smashed the crystal. Okay, so apparently I got to smash these, and that'll open up the lock over here. So there's going to be a third one over on this side, but we got to figure out how we can get to it. There's a guy standing right there, and conversely to what one might believe, he's not trying to murder me. Maybe he'll sell me something? Hey. Sure, you're going to follow up. Newcomer, we need to go further. Take him down. Bring me to the deeper end of the abyss. I will help you find the one that you are looking for. Of course, we need to open this gate first. Look at the light pillars. Hit them off. Take this. You're going to need it. He gave me like a bomb, huh? Okay, we got a bomb now. Oh, I can throw the bomb over there. I got you. Okay, so we use right click to throw the bomb. And then I assume we just use the number keys on the UI down in the bottom left in order to make sure that, like, we've got the right thing equipped to our right click. All right, sounds good. The game feels really good. Like, that brief little spat of combat that we had right there at the beginning felt fluid, and it felt like there was sort of impact to it. I also like how the hammer stunned things behind it when you swung it. That was kind of sweet. You're still here. I don't... I know I can't convince you to leave all of this, but so be it. Take down the monster, and we will have our revenge. Don't worry about me. I'm just too tired after all of these fights. Finally, your chance is here. Just as you wish, the honor belongs to you. I'm not willing to do so for all that have passed. Okay, fair. What is that thing? Dude, that thing's going to wake up and try to wreck me in my face, isn't it? Hold on, I'm going to break all these real fast. So that I have, like, can I walk over the top of that? Yeah, I'm going to break these real fast so that I have more freedom of movement because I don't envy doing it in the midst of combat. Finally, you've arrived. Could you do me a favor before our information exchange cooperation? Help me reposition my head and... Oh, it's not gonna wake. Oh my god, never mind. Well, it's not alive anymore. It is now shockingly dead. I'm gonna stab that guy. Oh, I got smacked so hard. Oh my god. Okay, not in love with that. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna take this guy. Ow, dude! He did, like, all of my health in one hit. In two hits. So, you lost the magic sword, huh? Means a lot to you, doesn't it? I must have seen it somewhere. Where was it? Let me think. It's so recognizable. Not in a good mood? I get it. How about I tell you another story? No? Alright. Come and find me if you want to hear that story, though. It doesn't look like I lost the magic sword. It's still doing sword-like things. 
I don't know. It has the appearance of doing sword-like stuff. My power furnace is down, so I can't work right now. If you bring me a new one from the abyss, I can forge some shiny weapons for you. Come visit me. Alright. Anybody else got anything to say? Singing a miserable ballad. That's pretty much me, like, all the time. The great power comes after great cost in the abyss. I have paid everything, and one day you will be the same. Okay. Does that guy have anything to say? What does this guy do? Ah, uh, none shall be trusted. Look at these adventurers. Can't even afford a crystal. Do I need to collect every bit of crystal by myself for the Abyss Master? Bet everything on that fatty. Dedication, sacrifice, oblation, tasting. Can't interrupt Gilly D's mutters. Alright, well then I won't. How's that sound? Looks like I can just, like, walk out. The Ignoramus Forest. Oh, we've got, like, little challenges and stuff, so continually attack to perform. I mean, there you go. Easy peasy. I can pull that off. I can do that right now. I don't even need enemies in front of me in order to take care of that. I can just swing my sword at imaginary ninjas. Oh, there's going to be bad guys in here, huh? Okay, there's a bad guy. Yeah, there's a couple more bad guys, too. And a bomba. I kind of feel like if I could just... Ooh, I like the death animations, how they actually spin and turn before they fall over. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'll take some bombs. Why not? And what does this thing have to say? Uh, let's see here. Reduce your current health limit, but we get more attack damage. We can get penance. Get an opportunity to comprehend new abilities as you go to each level. Breaking stones can cause an explosion. I'll go with penance. Why not? That sounds good. It's a good-looking game. It's definitely invoking all of those AAA indie RPG deals like Moonlighter and Hyperlight Drifter and, you know, Bastion and all of those games that look very, very smooth and, and sweet and sort of, like, tactile. It's definitely tapped on into that. I don't have the hammer anymore. Do you have a hammer? He does. He has a hammer. That's what I was kind of interested in. Is there anything inside of there? Oh, my God in heaven. I don't know what just happened. Okay. What's up with this rock on the ground? How come it highlights? Can I do anything with it? Like, if you look, the rocks highlight on the ground. Maybe I can... Can I smack them around with the hammer? Oh, I thought maybe I could use them as projectiles or something with the hammer. We'll go upwards. Oh, this guy wants to sell us stuff. So we've got a lightning bolt right there. We have God's Prayer. We have Fireball Burst. Uh, it's not letting me click and drag the bar right here, and on the scroll wheel, dude, it's super slow. Like, crazy slow. So they might want to work on that. That might be something to make, like, I'm clicking and it won't, like, go up or down just by clicking right there. Uh, and the scroll wheel is so slow that it's just like, oof. Feels very, very tight, so maybe that's something to clean up a little bit right there. But other than that... Oh, okay. Alright, fair enough. Apparently... Oh my god, they throw bombs. But the fire does interact with the environment, so they actually, like, burn to death and stuff. Okay. I've got some extra... What does this do right here? Does that do anything? No. I mean, it's possible. Maybe I can smack it with a hammer? No, I can't smack it with a hammer. Okay, never mind. I've, I got excited when given half an opportunity to use an... Did that guy throw a javelin at me, dude? Don't throw a javelin at me. That's not right. We've got a bag of stones so I can throw rocks at people. All right, I'll give that a try. It does seem to be nice to be able to, like, flick a stone to get, like, some fast damage or maybe, like, stun lock an enemy real fast so that I can get a dodge off a little quicker. Hey, you. Yeah, of course it's you. I know a psycho who dreams to challenge the Abyss Master. Those traveling hunter bastards took away the fatty and the gift, which is supposed to be sent to my master. They're being robbed. I hide the last one, the only one that I have left. Nothing more to be sacrificed, and even worse, Quillbores take away the Master's statue. They put it over that table for dedication. Take it for me, and I will reward you, and offer you more power to help you find the Master and achieve your pathetic dream. Then both of us can achieve what we want. Here, take it. You're gonna need it. Water over there is being poisoned when I use poison stuff to flee away. You would also get poisoned if you step on it. Light them up and use fire to cleanse that ground. Be careful when you play with fire. Don't get yourself killed before you take out the quill bores. All right. Yeah, dude. I can I can totally I can totally do that. There you go. That was far more explosive than I expected. Like I thought it was going to be lightly explosive. That was tightly explosive. Ooh, monies. Yay, I like monies. Yeah, let me pick that on up. Oh no, dude, the game has failed one of my tests. One of my one of my one of my tests for video games 
is that I feel like anytime you collect money in a video game, the little counter down here on the bottom right, it should go ding, 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 and it should tick upwards one iterative at a time. It's just more satisfying that way. I don't know what it is, but adding just like 40 or 50 to the counter all at once, it doesn't feel as good as when it goes ding, 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 it has to go, it has to do the thing. Let's see here. A weird face at first sight, but a bag of purple crystals. Hey, you did it. Bring it to me, and then I will fulfill my words. All right, dude. I'm coming back. You better have a super rad treasure for me. Give it to me quickly. That's it. You really proved your worth. We have a deal. Eat this and use the power to find the master. The rest of these are yours, too. I don't need them anyways. Okay, so we've got a fruit of wisdom. That will add one to my stamina max permanently. Okay. All right, I could definitely use some extra stamina. Tiny, weird-looking crystals. When you live in the abyss for too long, they break out from your body. They might be valuable to villagers. Okay, so I assume those are, like, permanent, maybe. Those are probably, like, permanent upgrade getters. Like, this money is more than likely just per run, if I know my roguelites. And this is probably to get, like, permanent upgrades to, like, damage or health or whatever. Maybe we use them at a blacksmith. Who knows? There we go, perfect. Took them all out. Uh, anything else around here that looks challenging? Anybody want to fight me? Oh my god, what was that? Oh no, okay. Apparently there's like little poison spore thingies. Yeah, that's going to light that entire area on fire, and I would rather not. Oh wow, the rocks actually do a bunch of damage. Can I pick the rocks back up? Oh, I can. Oh, but he picked. She picks it up, but then she rethrows it. Okay. What is this? Yeah, drink it, dude. Not thirsty anymore. All right, sounds good to me. Uh, where was that other rock at? I threw another rock out. I wanted to see if I could play around with the rock idea. Hey, hey. Ow! He threw a bomb at me, dude. Don't do that. We were having like by the rules of rock fight. We were having a rock fight. You can't bring extra accoutrement to the rock fight, bro. Whoa, relax, chief. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a bomb at him. There we go, just keep him in the fire. Oh, he's immune to fire. Well, maybe not. Okay. I don't know his attack patterns, so like I'm trying to figure him out right now. Oh, don't dodge backwards. That's what I learned right there. That's a mistake. If you dodge backwards, you're going to hate yourself. Is he going to throw something at me? I was going to say, it seems like he's always throwing something at me. Well, I didn't really want to dodge in on him. However, it looks like if I stay in his face, he only uses, like, well, maybe not, actually. Oh, is he going into, like, a new phase right now? Please do Oh, he went into a new phase. He had a new ability that I didn't know about. Oh, that hit, dude. I thought as long as I was outside the little path, it wouldn't hit me. Okay. So, like, apparently he hits a little bit. That's just a path indicator. It's not an AoE indicator. Gotcha. Uh, what else can we do right now? Hey, you want some pancakes? I do like pancakes. What does that do right there? Increase the limit of your stamina bar by one. I'd actually like to have more health. I feel very, very squishy, but I will buy that so that I can get the extra stamina bar. I can't do anything with that guy just yet. Do you do anything? The greatest power comes after. Okay. All right, fair enough. There's nothing else new here. Let's get on out of here then. Let's try again. Like, I think I could take that guy now that I know that he's going to phase shift on me. So after clearing out this little room, there doesn't appear to be any healing either. Like, whatever damage you take is just took. Like, that's it. Like, I haven't really seen anything that's going to, like, heal me up or whatever. Lots of weird little plants, though, running around. Um, I don't really have any money right now, so, like, I don't think that there's much point in us going to the vendor. I do like how when you hit stuff, it's got kind of, like, projected leaves that fly out the back direction in the same vector that your sword is aimed in. I think that looks pretty cool. Oh, there's a treasure chest. 
Are treasure chests good? Do I want the treasure chest? Yeah, you guys can die real fast. And then I'll kill you off. He's going to throw a bomb at me, so that's a little bit unpleasant, because now the world is on fire. It looks like it doesn't catch the little shrubs on fire, though. It only catches, like, the main parts. Okay. We'll take him out real fast. Let me grab the rocks, and then we've got a chest over here. What is this? What did that do? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see here. The sneakers. So apparently they give us some more attack, I guess? Good old shoes for wandering the abyss. Apparently I can just kick people in the shins and stuff. All right. I, I don't know why I would want to do that instead of striking them with an implement that's actually designed for war. But okay. Like, I, I accept this. It's not like my favorite, but you know. There was no weapon inside the weapon thing. I, I don't see myself kicking a lot of stuff. Like, I don't know. Dude, you're going to light yourself on fire if you throw a bomb at me. I would strongly recommend not throwing a bomb at me right now. Yeah, I'm going to get the range guys first. It just seems like a better plan to me. We have a little bit of money now. Maybe I'll go back to the store. Let's go back to the store and see if we can buy anything that's going to make our run a little bit easier. All right, so we can get a God's Water. We can restore all stamina. I was actually looking for something that would, like, more than likely heal me, actually, is really what I was looking for. I was looking for, like, a healing potion or something like that. Hmm. Maybe we'll try the God's Prayer. I mean, we have it, so, like, if we have the money, we might as well, like, tack out, I guess. I don't know if I want to use the God's Prayer just yet. I'll probably hold on to it. Maybe it'll work on the boss. It, it seemed like there was things that did not affect him, though. Like, when I threw rocks at him, that did no damage. The bombs did, like, a little bit of damage, but I didn't really feel like we got the full... Like, I tried to light him on fire while he was sitting in the bushes, but unfortunately, lighting him on fire while he was sitting in the bushes didn't do any damage to him. Uh, I think he took, like, maybe 25 damage after standing in it for, like, ever. Oh, my God. Well, there goes all my health. Good Lord. Yeah, we got to figure out some kind of healing in here, dude. Like, when you get hit, you get hit in this game. Like, that was one hit this run. One tiny hit, and it took off, like, all of our health. So I guess we're just going to have to figure that out. I'm going to throw rocks at this guy. Oh, he's got bombs. Okay, so his projectiles are a little bit better than my projectiles. He is now unconscious, though, having been bludged with a rock. And so I think I can live with this. Inside this room right here. Oh, we're back to this guy again. I don't see a lot of great outcomes for this fight. Basically, I just need to stay away. Okay. Yeah, you can do that if you want. I don't hit very hard, though. Is he going to do normal swings? What's he going to do? Oh, he's throwing shurikens again. Okay. He doesn't lead us, though, which is nice. Nice little opportunity for some damage right there. I gotta stop dodging so much, dude. I'm like instinctively dodging whenever anything happens. And it's gonna get me smashed, like I know it is. Like, that's an appropriate time to dodge out of the way. But that right there was just wasted stamina. Yeah, throw your little thingies, that's fine. Do your normal little swings. He's gonna come down this way. Right. Okay, so now he's phase shifted, which means he's gonna do like the the big one. Yep, the big one thrice right there. Probably shouldn't have done did what I just did. Now I have no stamina. Still have no stamina. I was going to say, we might eat that one. There's the god hammer right there. Oh, it stuns him. 
Oh, we got him. Okay. All right. We got him. Okay. He's down, dude. He's down. I was actually really worried about taking that fight with my health at half, but we managed to flawless him. I'm better at ambush, but not face-to-face -face fighting like this. What's going to happen if I sacrifice someone to acquire such powerful skills like you? I think there might be some translation problems, in all honesty. Uh, really astonishing. I've noticed that, like, some of the writing... It's just like a little tiny bit stilted, like where sometimes I have to like read it twice in my head, basically. However, we knocked a bunch of crystals off of a dude, so maybe we'll get some upgrades. You got anything? What you got for me? The swift sword. Ooh, that seems like it's better than what I have. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Swap that right there for sure. Ooh, it turns green too, dude. I'm basically Luke Skywalker now. I like it. Yeah, finally being saved. Nice to see you, young stranger. I've trapped for so long, I wonder if I'll become a bag of bones like the guy sitting over there. Those traveling hunters are mad. They start hunting everyone, though it's not unexpected for me. As a reward, take this. What is it? A dodge attack? Oh, dude! Yes! Oh, I like that. Okay, alright. I'm a big fan of dash attacks in video games, and I bet you that lets me get back across water, too. Yeah, it does. So now we can get across that little lakey thing, or the little river that was over here, too. Nice. We've got transit abilities. I'm just going to ignore him so that I don't get shot in the face with poison. What is this? Uh-oh. I think I just became a bullet. I wasn't planning on being a bullet today, but I am now a bullet. Hey, look who's here. Take a rest and tell us your traveling story. I go first. I'm going to tell a good story, my favorite one. But before that, may I ask you a question? You have any food that you can share a little with an old man? No? Ah, that's a pity. Don't worry, I always have enough story to share with you. When I was as young as you, I met a guy who carried the same duties as you. You know, he heard this story for a long time. But now you have no memories of it, though your spirit is refreshed. Oh, good, we got healed. When is dinner time? Okay. Battery low. Prepare to run in low battery mode. Everything is new stock. Check out the broken hand on the sword handle. Oh, we can buy new weapons and stuff too. Okay. Alright, that's good to know. Add a little bit of diversity to the run right there with some extra stuff. wonder if I could use the arrow keys to make that go down. I can. I can use the arrow keys, so that's the faster way to do it. We can also use WAST. I probably should have figured that out earlier in the video, but now I feel like... See, I like, I'm kind of like a UI person, and, and so like when I see a little bar over here, I try to click it and drag it, you know what I mean? Because I don't play a lot of... I, I actually play like no console games. So that's actually a big fact about me, is I only play PC games. And it's actually from the fact that I didn't notice that you could WAST this right here... That's probably indicative of the fact that, like, I've just become so used to using my mouse for everything for, like, the last 15 years that I just assume everything will interact with the mouse. Let's see here. A Hellfire Wyvern. Is that a gun? I do like the idea of a gun. We don't have any bombs. Maybe I'll pick up some bombs. Just in case. Need a maintenance for or need maintenance for the stuff you bring? Uh, not really, but oh wow. Okay, so apparently I can upgrade stuff too, and I just spent my money. No, I could have upgraded my sword to have plus five damages. No. Ready to clear your path downstairs? Yeah, sure. Why not? Tinder Valley. Okay. Is it just me, or does Tinder Valley feel kind of sticky? Smell like cottonwood trees around here. Eh, let's see, what are you... I can check on that thing? It's a big hand. Hold on, let me clear out all these little Pokemon that are all over the place. I gotta, like, murder some Poke... I like the shadow effect they give you when the enemy's behind stuff. That way you don't unnecessarily take hits like I just unnecessarily took hits. Any more, you guys? What is this? Oh, cool. What is that right there? Ice Bolt Burst. Yeah, throw that on my right click. That sounds good. Oh, that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. Okay. Take that monies, too. Oh, he dropped one of the thingies for, like, upgrades or something. Okay. Okay. We haven't gotten to that point yet, but I would love to have more HP. If I had, like, two more HP bars, I would be so happy. 
Looks like I can kick that. But I gotta take care of all these bad guys first. Let's clear them all out so that I can just kind of kick freely. Oh, I can just push it. I don't need to kick it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need you little dudes to just, like, stop. What's in there? Anything? Oh, a bow. Nice, dude. Okay, yeah, let's take the bow, and I'll swap the bow out for the... for the sneakers. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's pretty good. It looks like I can do, like, a critical attack, too. Hold on. Ranged attacks might change the game here. Oh, the ranged attacks don't hit as hard, though. Okay. I kind of see how it works. You got to time it. Kind of works the same as the bow in Hades. You got to get the timing just right if you want to get the maximum damage off. You got anything? You got a lightning bolt, huh? I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't think I have any way to get rid of the rocks right now. But anyways, I kind of dig this game, dude. It's definitely got a cool vibe to it. Like, I'm enjoying it. Uh, this game is called Ancient Abyss. I hope you guys are... Oh, I threw a rock. Oh, they've got guns. Okay. That's a little worrying. Can I block the bullet with my sword, like, samurai style? Doesn't look like it. There we go. We'll take him on out. I love the graphics. I think the game is actually, like, gorgeous to look at. Like, it's a really, really pretty game. Oh, sweet, dude. I like the little supplementary items, too, like the bombs and, like, the ice shards and the magic spells and stuff. I don't know. It adds diversity to the... Dude, I am getting smoked right now. There we go. Just finish him off. I'll pick that up for sure, but... Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I'm going to cleave you guys in twain real fast. There we go. If I can get some damage off over here. Dude, all that I really want. Oh my god. It's you again. It's been like eight seconds since we last met. I just want that. That's all that I want because I know I'm probably going to die right here. I do like the way the bombs explode on impact. Ow! Ow! Is he dead? He is definitely not dead. Ah. Oh. Okay, so he's out of range right now. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, I don't have any more left. Oh, I walked right into it, man. I walked right into it. But yeah, this is Ancient Abyss. I'm not very good at it, but I very much like the graphics. I do think the translation could use a little bit of work, but everything else feels... Really, really good to the hand. Like, the game works exactly how you sort of intuitively want it to work. Uh, I like the character design. I really love the pixel art. The pixel art is just like, poof, it's so good looking. So anyways, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile of power what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day. Today we're playing Ancient Abyss. You can look down below if you wanted to get the game for yourself. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on through. I'll have something hot fresh off the indie skillet tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.